think the dance school will have one different belief. But the dance school has been a lot of fun. Um, based on the games that I'm in, because I'm a lot of fun. 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 Very warm welcome to our program, Hey Yabu. I'm very glad to have you both here with us. And I'm very happy to be in Madan Dance School as well. So, first of all, congratulations. And, uh, let me ask you, what is salsa about and what is the origin of salsa? I'm sure our audience would love to know this. You are number one, like world's number one dancer. So how did this passion come to you? Uh, I started learning how to dance when I was uh, five, six years old. I started with ballet. Um, so about four years back, uh, I decided I wanted to try something new. And salsa was quite popular in Singapore, where I come from. So I was like, okay, you know, let's try it out. And I went to uh, this dance school. And started by him and he was he, he's my teacher so he taught me how to dance also and from there he brought me overseas to dance and learn and compete and perform and teach. Um, this actually comes as a uh, uh, accident, um, a coincidence actually. Uh, I was working very hard one day and then uh, my company was 130 over staff and suddenly overnight you know, a lot of competitors came in and my company crashed. And uh, I don't know what to do. So I have a lot of free time, I was completely scaled down. So I, somebody introduced me to salsa. So with the you know, frustration and the anger inside, I took up and I danced every single day. And that's how the story started. So, what kind of shows have you done and uh, like any famous shows? Can you tell us about this? Uh, we just came back from uh, Hamburg. Uh, we believe it's one of the top three in the world uh, festival. Um, amazing, it's 3,000 world people in, uh, in the festival. And uh, before that, we came back from the World Salsa Championship in London. Uh, that was a week before. Um, so we have, we have since, uh, in the last one, two years, we have been traveling around in India, China, Europe, US, uh, South America, and practically all around the world. Today we are in Maldives. <laughs> So what was your best performance? One, probably one of our best performances was uh, when we performed in a competition in uh, 2006 in Hong Kong. dance because the music just you know comes in and you dance and you don't think about it and you have so much fun. Um, most of our students when they dance, um, we dance from 7 o'clock all the way until 12 o'clock at night. So um, sometimes even 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning because you, when you dance salsa, the, one of the best things about salsa is you don't, eat, you don't dance with just one partner. When you come to a place, you meet 50 people, you can dance with all 50 of them. So you make a lot of friends. Actually, just to add, uh, when we first opened our salsa club in Singapore, the people dance until 9 a.m. in the morning. 
to 9 a.m. <laughs> That's amazing. You know, 5 a.m. in the morning, you see them, you know, at a, at a corner practicing their dance. It's like, it's 5 a.m., you know, and people are sleeping and they're still dancing. So it's, it's, it's very catchy, it's very addictive. Maja means fun. That's Maja, Maldiv. Uh, that's what uh, salsa is all about. Salsa, the most important thing is having fun. Now, if you can walk, you can salsa. Okay, so Maja, remember, fun. You're here to have fun. So long as you can walk, you have fun. That's what it's all about. Maldives. Uh, it's very beautiful. The water is blue. The, the sand is white and um, yeah, paradise on earth. <laughs> Sounds like paradise on earth. I think, I think uh, it's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Or it's just for the young and teenagers? Um, it can be for people from as young as five years old to eighty-five years old. Alright, so when you're you know, when you're eighty-five, okay, there's there's uh, many ways to dance also. Now, some of the youngsters they dance very fast. Now the older gentlemen they just you know, they just feel relaxed, just like walking, you know, they're just coming out, swaying their hips and just remember fun. That's all it is about. Alright, nothing else, you know, so long as you're moving. How do you dance so flexibly? How do you get there? Um, like I said, when I was young, I, I did belly, so I, I practiced my splits and all that. But that's only flexible, being flexible in the legs. Um, there's also the body flexibility, and in our school, we, we practice body isolation. It's sort of like aerobics, but we move the body and we segment the body parts, so we do a lot of body movements, and we practice like three to four times a week, sometimes even every day, so just to get the body more flexible. And it takes time, but I've had four years of practice, so... <laughs> so for newcomers, there are things that they can do to get flexible, right? Um, we, we have a class called Body Isolation. Um, we practice our body movement and we start with the shoulders and then we go to the chest and the hips and then the whole body. So as, as we do it, um, you learn your, how to move your body and how to move just this part but not the rest. So from there, um, in the class as we practice and practice, it becomes easier to do it and most of our students are, are this flexible. Yeah. Justin, I would like to ask you, will you be here practicing salsa and what are your new plans? Okay, we expect to be here uh, quite often, uh, working with uh, Agnes and Maja, uh, Maldives, uh, for salsa. Uh, actually, Ma uh, um, Agnes has flown down to Singapore uh, many times uh, to discuss with us. So, uh, we're working on several programs. We are managing about 50 old website and we travel around the world to promote salsa events. So, um, after her putting us on a cruise yesterday and looking at Maldives, uh, on our website, we believe over a million people will get to see the videos of the, the cruise, the yacht, dancing salsa here in Maldives, and we believe many, many, many tourists will be coming. Actually, we are working on a program where every week we will be bringing tourists down to Maldives. Thank you, that would be a good promotion for our country as well. When is the grand opening here and like, is, when is the school going to start? I think tomorrow will be the official starting date, and uh, yeah, so, so tomorrow is the start. 8th of, uh, <laughs> 8th of, 8th of August, uh, 8th of August 2008, 8 p.m. Adil Sefam yang tidak arah jalan alam, arah ufam bayar di sekolah barat tigu, meto umurat dair warat kuru, faham umurat dair aneh khas warat tigu, arah nak ikut manzal rupiah di kota ece, eka maku bawa minyak huri mata kulai huri ece no, arah nak ikut kong ece. Mereka tidak jawab di mana perubahan perayaan itu mereka yang guru itu mulai terasa tak inang dengan botol filter skewi di sini.
the 